for this our new town hall is rather alarming. I agree with you now. We are obviously biting what I would want you. You go. What do you suggest? You want us to lower the standard of the project we are planning? We are all aware of uh, Umokolo Kingdom. The kind of magnificent edifice they are elected as they are power. No, 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 no. We will still maintain our proposed uh, budget to leave a landmark for the future generation. Yes.
Igwe, how can we raise this amount of money? We are talking of 85 million naira. Igwe, we, your royal cabinet members, we understand this your beautiful proposal. But how do you expect us to raise this kind of amount? Even if our illustrious sons in the city bring their pledges, even OJ oil money and gas. There will be no need for further deliberation. OJ oil and gas. OJ oil and gas. OJ oil and gas. Igwe. Uh, Igwe, I came prepared. This is a check for 100 million naira for the proposed project. OJ oil and gas. OJ oil and gas. OJ, oil and gas. Hey! 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 Yeah, everything is settled. My son, we are very happy. Thank you. Yes, uh, now that I'm in your midst, I would like to make a wish. Go on, go on, go on. I hereby request for the title of Ojidola Amola One of our kingdom. Consider it done. Ojidola. Eh? Ojidola. Igwe. Eh? Ogolo is in January, but a February. Oh, it's in January, but a February. Ogolo. 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 Amaola. My mother. Yes. Ogolo. Igwe. This one is for you. Hi. Ogolo. Amaola. Obia. Obia. Ogolo doya. Okay, I'm going Hey! I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to go. i to I'm going to I'm I'm i now. Oh, oh. Um, um.
you. Wow, oh, so good to be back home. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Hey, big boy. How are you? Hi. Uh, uh, Junior, the prince of my kingdom. How are you? <laughs> Not to worry. Yeah, I have great plans for you. Before you get to 12 years old, I am going to buy you a title. The greatest title of all time. Mata Karesia, one of our kingdom. Give me five. <laughs> Darling, I would want you to stop referring to my son with such title. He's no doubt going to be great and wealthy, but not pride reading like you think. Because he's going to be God fearing, responsible, and decent. Yes. Okay, so in essence, what you're saying is that his father is a proud man who is not decent and responsible. Is that it? Absolutely not. But perhaps drunk with worldliness. I'm sorry, I don't mean to disrespect you, but it's just that. Well, it's okay. You don't have to defend yourself. See, if you call me a proud man, you will not be wrong. Yes, because any man who has money deserves to be proud. And I'll tell you why. <laughs> I have a surprise for you. Come. My boy, sit down. Come with me. You'll love it. My love, here we are. Congratulations. Your new car. <laughs> See, I decided to get this car for you to show gratitude to you for your love and sacrifice. There you go. Go ahead. Maybe I'm not the one who desires a shower of gifts. Maybe I'm not. I'm not asking for one thing from you. Just one thing. And what is it? Give your life to Christ who has made you who you are today. Not again. No. What do you mean by not again? He's not asking you for silver nor gold but your wholehearted worship and total commitment to him. And look at you. Baby, what are you talking about? Is that too much to ask? Of course it's too much to ask. Honey, you're even walking out on me. I am not done talking to you. Honey, you have changed. Just take a good look at you. You have blinded your heart with so much pride and love of money and materialism. Instead of humility and love for God of our salvation. Is that right? Listen to me, my love. No matter what you give to me, I will never be happy or appreciate it until you return back to God and ask Him for forgiveness for your negligence towards Him.
perfect for the church service, my boy. Thanks. All right. Just um, get seated while I dress, okay? Don't ring your dress. Don't. Tell me you are preparing for church service dressed in this casual. Um, I'm actually getting set for our club meeting, not church. Club meeting? At the same time we're supposed to be going to church? Yes, um, something came up, something very important. So all the um, club members are mandated to be at the club today. We have to discuss a vital issue. Okay, so, but not worry. Um, next Sunday, I'll be in church with you, all right? I mean, it's nothing. If you're there, I'm there. We're one, you know? Go to church, pray for us, and I know that God Almighty will hear your prayers. Hmm? All right, yeah. Mm -hmm. See you soon. Hope I look good. <laughs> Oh, 
Dollar man. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, uh, uh, Baba, get some glasses. Yeah. <laughs> Make it two. Me and my sister. Oh. My sister, I wonder why my brother H.K., your husband, has rejected all my invitations to him all his wife. I don't know either. It's imperative that I see him. He needs to be cautioned for his backsliding spiritually. As a matter of urgency. Okay? When you get home, tell him I want to see him. As a matter of urgency. Sure. I'll do that, Father. And he shouldn't forget in a hurry the promise he made to God. The promise he made to God, he shouldn't forget it in a hurry. Okay? Okay. Very well then. Hmm, Father. Yes. <clears throat> Words cannot express my gratitude to God for all he has done for me, for my family. For the miracle, his miracle in my life. For, for taking us from nothing to something. Father, you know what happened to us in the past. I, I, that is IT Bobo. You know, we had nothing. We went from, from grace to grass. We went back to the village, practically. The same God took us from the village back to the city. Eh? This same God. Hey. I, can, I, I don't even know where to stand. Nigun. See what we have now. Look at. See our house. Eh? This mansion. With cars, with businesses. Everything is going smoothly. Wonderful family. Mm. Father, Chukwebuka. I'm telling you, Chukwebuka. In fact, I am making this promise that I will serve God for the rest of my life. Yes. In fact, Father, it's not even enough. I want to take this oath today, right in front of you. If I ever deviate from serving the Lord God Almighty, if I ever deviate from His ways, child, let the worst happen to me, Father. Honest. <laughs> <coughs> Look, my brother, you don't need to swear to God. For an oath is not a sign of righteousness. Yes. God is a silent listener to every conversation. You've just made a promise. All you need to do is to just keep that your own side of promise. You understand me? For no one lies to God. It's an agreement. Just do not let this agreement suffer. I mean, uh, this agreement suffer this agreement. That's all. Is it fit for God? Very well. Very well done. Father, my husband has gone astray. I don't even know what to do. And that is the, the, the genesis of his problem. You see, if you make a promise to God and fail, it's very dangerous because you, you are giving the devil a chance. It's, it's not good for his spiritual growth. You see, something crossed his heart to be polluted, lost and loneliness. And he gave it to someone other than God. And he paid the for it. Our hearts belong to God Almighty. Yeah. The sole owner of our hearts. Yeah. You see, what makes a man is inside of him. He shouldn't forget that in a hurry. And the same Bible tells us that the, the, the heart of man is wicked. The plans of the devil in our lives will never work in Jesus' I name. Say amen to that. Emmanuel, say amen. Yes, I say big amen to that. Amen. Father, yes. Father, I must thank you. I must thank you for everything, every of your support to my household both spiritually and morally. My God will continue to bless you. Thank you. God, God bless all of us. You see, I also want to commend you for your spiritual like, growth. You know, you, you're growing spiritually. You know, it's, it's wonderful. I also want to commend you for your exemplary Christian life. 
Thank you so much. We thank God immensely. Thank you. We thank God. Father, we will we'll be on our way now. Very well then. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to tell your husband to say him. He shouldn't forget his promise. I won't. It's okay. It's okay. Mighty creator. I think if we do like this, you look with pity on your children. I'm very sure this family. <laughs> Said it. My love, <laughs> big boy. Ah, I missed you guys. I missed you guys. Big boy. Ah, how are you? Good, good, good. My love. Mm, I missed you. Oh, I missed you. I missed you so much, my baby. How was mass today? Refreshing as usual, and boring without you. As oh, usual. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it. I explained to you, we had this very pressing issue we needed to tackle at the club. And believe me, we did justice to it because I stood there and I spoke and I gave them a piece of my mind. Of what? It does all the problems when we're in a club. Eh? You know, you're in a Yes. Well, Brother Timothy asked that you should see him. Brother Timothy? What for? Uh, anyway, never mind. I know what the problem is. Father Timothy needs money. The church needs money. You know, anytime they need money, they call on me. It's simple. So, next time you'll be going to church, just let me know. I'll do a check for 1.5 million uh, I give to them and everybody will be happy. Hey, darling. Do not make ridicule of the church and God himself. That your father asked you to see him does not imply that he wants to extort money from you. It's very wrong. And remember, he is our spiritual director. Money is not everything. Money is everything, my love. In case you don't know, money is everything. You see, I'll pardon you because of your poor background, your orientation. You know, but money is everything. Look, the church always needs money. Everybody needs money, especially the church. Pastors, priests, they all need money. And once they need money, what do they do? They call on people like me. You know why? There are very few people who have money. And OJ Oil and Gas is one of them. Akana Amiego, one. OJ Dollar Amola, one. So once the church needs money, you let me know. I, I, if you ask me, I think 1.5 million naira is too small. Junior, what do you think? Huh? We'll make it 10 million naira for them, right? Fine. So the next time you're going to church, I'll give you 10 million naira for uh, Father Timothy. And uh, having said that, I think everyone will be happy now. Meet me in the bedroom. <laughs> You still haven't told me where you are taking me to. Huh? We've been walking for so long inside this forest, ah. middle of nowhere. Where are we going to? I want you to come with me. Don't you trust your father again? Of course I trust you, father, but... 
I, I trust you, but I, I, what, what, where are you taking me to? I want to show you some mysteries, some wonders you need to know. Okay, Father. Huh? Father, what's going on? Why, why are you looking at me that way? Son, I can see the tears and tears in your eyes. Those are what you have made me pass through. Son, you must face the consequences of your sin. You must please, father, face the consequences father, please, of your sin. Please don't hurt me, Pico. Pico, Father, please, please. You're for my son. Why have you chosen to torment my soul? After all I did for you, I sacrificed my soul for your happiness. Ojo for. Ojo for. Why have you kept my soul restless and sorrowful? Ojo for. You must pay for this. You must pay for this. There will be no peace for you. You will have no peace. Father, please. Father, be quiet. I'm still your son. Don't, don't, don't. Please. I, I beg you. Father, please. Please don't, don't, don't hurt me. Pico, don't hurt me, Father. Pico, don't hurt me, Father. Father, I beg you. No peace. No peace. No peace. Father, I heard you saying, don't hurt me. Who shouldn't hurt you? Uh, um, I, 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 uh, um, I, a phone call. Uh, I don't call. Baby, are you having issues with anyone? Um, there's just some business, um, business issues that I'm trying to, to sort that. Really? Anyway, your breakfast is served. Okay, thank you. This morning was very scary. Beyonce. I mean, it was strange. I overheard him speaking to himself, and he was saying, Daddy, do not kill me. Don't kill me. I am telling you the truth. And when I confronted him and asked him what the problem was, he practically lied to me. He told me that he was speaking to a colleague on the phone when I heard him speaking to his father. I, I don't understand. I don't understand. You see, I, I, uh, it's, it's all right. It's okay. Sister Mond, I know that um, there is more to this than meet our canonized. You see, and um, 
I assume that, that whatever transpired this morning, that God Almighty is in control. Yes. He's sure in control of everything. Amen. Amen. Father, please. I need your help. I'm, I'm lost in my own house. Please, I need your help. to my aid and save my husband for your word says that we should declare a word in your name and it shall come to pass without faith and heartbrokenness oh lord i declare a word upon my husband and my entire family god no plans of the enemies to shatter his life will come to pass Father, save him from the shackles of the devil, oh Lord, I beg you. You can have this. Hey, I to thank you, ma. You God will bless you.
Look, Amanda, your husband has hardened his heart. He has refused to come and see me. I have a revelation that the devil's arrow has been fashioned against you and your family. Me too. Use all the powers. God forbid. Yes, especially that of your husband. We must rise to fight against this weapon of the enemy. Amen. But I'm afraid this fight, possibility of, of, of it will be very slim because of your husband's spiritual uh, weakness and, and, and blindness. Sure. You see, divided we fall, united we stand. I know. We must be united to fight this spiritual warfare together. Yeah. To defeat this enemy within. Well, I feel your pains about your uh, husband's ungodly lifestyle. You see, people, you know, give their hearts to uh, their families, careers, or ideas. You know, and they were shocked when these persons or things, you know, betray their heartfelt investment. That's what you feel, but you must have faith in God, the sole owner of our life. We're in this together, okay? Be rest assured that this battle must be won. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Good. Oh, amen. God, God help me. Auntie, you have been so good and kind to me. Anytime you come to this church, you always give me money. So I thought of how to say thank you. Then I brought buckets from the gate man, from the church gate man, Oko, to wash your car. You shouldn't have gone through such stress just to appreciate what I did for you. Whatever I did for you, my darling, I did for God. Because Jesus taught us to always be kind to our neighbors. So you shouldn't have. Okay? To make God bless you. What is your name? My name is Wamaka. Wamaka. You have a beautiful name. Mamaka, where are your parents? And what are you doing there? Begging when you should be in school? It is a long story. <laughs> I'm a very patient listener. Everything you have to say to me, I am ready to listen. You're obviously not rushing anywhere. And same here. Or better still, why don't you get into the car? Let me take you to my house, give you some food, then you can gain the strength to tell me your story. Okay, see what happens right now. I will drop this here. Obviously, Okon, like you said, would pick it whatever he wants. Then we get into the car. Let's go.
I was raised by a woman who I took as a mother long ago. She said she picked me from the refuge dump as an infant without knowing who my parents are. And she adopted me as a child once because she's an orphan too and had no husband or family. We lived happily even though we were poor. Fortunately, she died in a motor accident, leaving me alone in this wicked world. Loneliness is all I've known in this world. It is difficult to survive. That's why I became a beggar and I decided to beg in front of the church where I could see good people like you to help me. It's been suffering and loneliness ever since she died. Oh no, no, stop, <laughs> don't. Listen, it's all right, my darling, okay? It's all right. Your story is very pathetic. But you have to understand something. Life is often very unfair to some. And to others, bed of roses. But God Almighty knows everything. I won't let you go. I'll keep you here in this house since you have nowhere to go. Alright. Auntie. Do you mean it? Of course I do, my darling. I mean, it would be very wicked of me to allow you go out there in the street with no food and shelter after I've heard your story. I can't do that. I know you're a very intelligent, respectful, and a God-fearing girl. And I, I pray that we will live together in peace. Okay. No, 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 get off. Listen, do not, do not ever kneel before me, all right? Just finish up your food. I can show you to your room, okay? Our guest room. But from today onwards, it will be your own. Alright? Mm. Um tomorrow let's see what we we'll do about your wardrobe. Because you look really terrible. It's fine. Well, sit down and make yourself very comfortable. Do not hesitate to tell me if you need anything, right? Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. arrived. You need rest, not stress. Okay? Well, I'm not tired. I like doing house chores. I understand you very well, but I insist you stop already. Moreover, we have a house cleaner that comes every week to clean the house. So you shouldn't bother yourself about that. Let me have that, okay? See what you have to do. Relax. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Do some little play 
read your book. That's all. Alright? Yeah. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Who is she? Her name is Wamaka. She's the little girl that usually begs by the church gate. Don't worry. We will go up. I'll explain everything to you. Uh, uh, How could you? You mean you brought in a total stranger into this house, my house, without informing me? Or the ma? Honey, I'm very sorry. I should have told you. But considering the story I just told you about her, I think we should please adopt her. Excuse me. Adopt who? Did you just hear yourself? It be one of this country. Huh? I mean, considering what the society is like right now, this, this wicked world, wicked society. You want to adopt a child you just picked up from the church gates. You don't even know her. I, I know, I know, my love. In Okwa? I know everything. I know how you feel about this. But please, you have to calm down and understand me, okay? The girl is homeless and helpless. She told me her story and it would be so wicked of me to have left her in that condition after hearing her story. So I picked her up. Please, honey, let's forget about how the society says this. Let's do it for our conscience. For God too. Please. Please. I'll do this for you. I'll allow her to stay for now. Adopting her for now. I say no. become quite fond of each other. I wonder if they can ever stay in it without each other. You know, she's very smart, very intelligent and obedient. And maybe, you know, just just maybe. Just like you said, we should adopt her. So we can have a daughter. Oh, Maybe. baby, you're so sweet. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. I love you too. Oh. Well, I, I'm sorry to come and see you since you refused to honor my several invitations. <laughs> but as a matter of uh, urgency, Army of darkness. Army of darkness. They have risen in war against you and your family. Yes, gradually they are marching forward to strike your soul with spears and arrows. My brother, it's time we, the children of God, clad in the complete suit of armor and be ready for this imminent spiritual war. It's time we put on our weapon of spiritual warfare. But 
exactly what is spiritual warfare? Prayer. Yes, prayer. James chapter 1, verse 5. God says, He is willing to tell you what you need to do, you and your family, to succeed. All you have to do is ask. Ask. What are they doing in this? You're doing. No, it's not done. You cannot have your God as your father and be like him. You cannot even have me as your spiritual director. People will be attacking your family, even men and are not. For you to even fight the physical, you must be in the spirit. It's not problem. You, you need to be spiritually strong. To wake up from your spiritual slumber for us to fight this this battle together you, you return your faith to god christ your source of salvation yes I'm, 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 I'm sitting before you as the donor of our time preaching you know metanoia that's what it is repentance and this is the chaotic moment moment of decision Him, Father, Father Campbell, who an ordained priest of God. Apple Campbell, see follow. All right, Father. Uh, I've heard you. You see, those days, um, there used to be days when the devil had a stronghold over my family. Those days are over. Thank God Almighty yes. for that. Those chains of bondage, evil chains of bondage, have been broken completely. What? So as you can see, we're fine, my family. Yes. We're fine, very fine. Hmm? Honey, how can you say that? Please do not allow the devil to use you against us. Excuse me. Excuse me. So what you're saying now is that I'm an instrument used by the devil, is that it? I never said so. I was only trying Don't to... Don't try anything, just shut up. Don't try. It's okay, Sister Amanda. Um, <clears throat> let's not set the cat among pigeons. Because I can see that emotions are playing up now. My brother, I can see that um, you're not in the right mood for this discussion. Perhaps I will visit again. Please do not forget all I have said. Okay? No problem, sir. I've heard you, Father. Please forgive my curiosity. That symbol, what does it stand for? What you're wearing on your neck? This? Yes. Father, you have your number. Hmm? I think you've made your point. I've heard you. Alright? So it's time for you to leave. Um, my doors are always open in case you need anything or your church needs anything. Financial assistance. Hmm? Let me know. Okay. Thanks for your All right. Thanks, no, no problems at all. Um, thank you very much for coming. Yes, um, I'll be, I'll be the ego for my wife will fix it. Alright? Okay, thank you. Hello, see you. Hello. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you so much. Oh, thank God, immensely. Um, that reminds me. The devil's grip on your husband, it's strong, so strong. And cautiously, we must handle him, okay? Um, however, you, you do not have to lose hope, okay? The name shall be surely put to shame. Amen. Amen. Good. Um, the little girl I saw in there, who is she? Oh, that's Wamaka. 
She's one of the beggars by the church gate. I see. So what, what's she doing in your house? You know, she's helpless and homeless. So I decided to adopt her and take good care of her. Really? Demonstration of love and kindness. Very good of you to have done that. Wow. I see. You keep doing your good work of study. The good Lord will surely reward you, yeah? Amen. <laughs> it's all right. Um, I'll run along now, okay? Send me word to your entire household. Okay, sure, I will.
What to do? Lord of Jesus. God forbid. Maybe I cannot. I cannot even imagine it. I'm sorry. I'm confused. Jesus Christ. This is serious. Very serious, Father. This is very serious. Very serious. I told you the devil is at work in your entire household. Ransacking your household, seeking for whom to devour. You see, we must turn back on a seven-day prayer and fasting. You know, to, 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 to put the, the devil to shame. Yes, we're in this together, both of us. Now, Psalm 37 verse 39 says, the salvation of the righteous comes from God Almighty himself. He is a strength in times of trouble. Yes. So we're in this together. To a woman with character, the woman with that character is not a woman enough. By the way, what, is, what does faith mean to you here? The conviction in your heart not to plan to fail. What is it? You have faith. You're a believer. You're a woman with character. And a woman without character is not a woman enough. Okay? Yes, Father. There's a saying in law that where there's wrong, there should be also a remedy. Prayer is our remedy here. Yes, sir. By the way, who is after your household? Who is the devil using to fight you? Who is playing such an uncanny, scandalous, you know, mischievous and chaotic game against your family? Father, I don't know. In fact, I have no idea. No one has access to our privacy, except my husband and I, and of course my two kids. Emmanuel and Wamaka. The gate man himself does not have access to the interior of the house, so I don't even know what the problem is. I don't know where it's coming from. I can't explain this. You mentioned them. So, who is Wamaka? Uh, um, she's, she's the girl I told you we adopted. Okay, okay, very well then. You see, um, you don't have to be scary. Okay? We're in this together. I keep telling you all these things. Okay? We will fight the devil. This fight is not the fight of, you know, flesh and blood. We fight against principalities and powers. But at the end of the day, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You understand? Even, I told you, even things are getting worse instead of better, I still believe God. That is it. We will fight the devil to his Amen. Let us pray. Yeah. Yes, I'm already on my way. I'm on my way home. You can come to the house so we sit down and discuss it very well. Okay, fine. I'll be expecting you. See, uh, if we're to go ahead, oh my God. Son, I've, I've, I'm in for it. Huh? I approve it completely, but... You know, on with one what due process. Uh, uh, things have to be done the right way. Yeah, I want to know everything about the whole business. All right, everything that has to do with the refinery thing, I need to know. And then there will be some um, legal documents as well. Huh? I want everything. What? I'm investing a lot of money into this, and as you know, Andrew, ego abrongungumas. Uh, so before you put it anywhere, you need to be sure of what you're doing. Right. So once I can get all those things and be sure of what we're doing, tomorrow I'll make payment. Hmm? It's okay. It's all right. Um, OJ, like I told you earlier, you got nothing to worry about. Discuss it already and 
I want to ensure you that every legal documents you need are intact, including the government backup and all the rest regarding your refinery. They are all intact. All you need to do is to make the payment tomorrow. And all is done. You got nothing to worry about. Good. Good. That's good payment tomorrow. Yeah, it's okay. That's Alright, my brother. All the guys in Kuwait. Yeah, Steven, open the gate. Darling, I overheard your conversation with your friend. You now monitor my business conversations, eh? I am not comfortable with it. Seriously, I'm not comfortable with the business. My spirit tells me that it will be a flaw. So please, do not proceed. And what do you know about running a business? What do you know about running a refinery? Hey, you have to listen to me. My spirit tells me that the devil wants to ruin your success. Our success with this business. Please, do not go ahead. I beg you. Huh? Uh, mm. My own spirit is telling me that the devil wants to use you to ruin this business. This very good business I want to start, this refinery. Get out of my sight. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you I'm ready, it means I'm ready. Andrew, hey girl, bro, I'm going to go to this. I'm ready for the transaction, huh? Alright, I'm waiting for you. Honey! Hello, Andrew. 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 Hello, Sacrificed, we we'll leave you with our remorse. They will accuse you, they will cause you, they will try to tear you down. But in the end, can never to walk in
Amanda. Hmm? Amanda. Where, where, where is, where's my money, my, my dollars? Dollars? Yes. Uh -huh. I have no idea. You didn't tell me about any dollars. About my, my, my money, my dollars. What? Where, where, where? Hey, come to here. Where, 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 where's money? I don't know about any dollars, my love. Are you, are you sure you kept it there? Excuse me. What are you saying? That I'm now mad? I cannot tell where I kept my money. Is that, is, is that it? I never said so. My so, so what are you saying? But you have to calm down and think of where you kept the money. Because if you're sure you really kept it there, then it should be there. What, where could it be now? Excuse me. I should be asking you where that money is. I should be asking you. It's obvious. I mean, it's obvious. You've taken it. You've taken the money because you're against the, 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 the business I want to invest this money in. Listen to me. If I don't find my money, you will see the other side of me. Maybe it's true I was against the business. But that's not enough reason for me to take your money without your consent. I didn't even know you had money there. Okay, just see, see what happens, eh? I, I, I can't tell my friends, I'm still I'm talking I'm to you. Baby! Listen to me, Amanda. If we go, we go to Ngungu Maze. Okay, now, we go to Ngungu Maze. If you know the amount of money I had in this briefcase. Listen to me, find my money this minute, else I will go crazy. Okay, now, find it now. Huh. I'm coming. You better come fast. I mean, come fast. Good morning, love. Good morning. I need to ask you something very important. And I want you to tell me the truth. Do not lie to me. Did you take any money? I mean, dollars, foreign currency, from your father's briefcase. Don't lie to me. No, I did not. Are you sure? Yes. Ben, what could have happened to the money? Who could have taken it? from Wamaka's room. I went to search it, but I didn't see the money. I even asked her. She said she doesn't know where the money is. Oh, but that's not what I asked you. Kedegom, where is my money? Where is it? Baby, I am not a thief. I have never stolen all my life. I didn't take your money. And I didn't take your money. Appointment this morning. You are you, you, you're so lucky. 
listen to me. If I come back, I don't want to see you in this house again. Fully aware that she's responsible for those diabolical acts. You beat me. Honestly, I still can't believe my wife did this. And this is a woman who has lived with me for many years. Many years. You know, and, and she's been there for me through thick and thin. I mean, you think that my, my own wife could steal from me. Beat me. Sweetheart, I'm all right. Um, mommy is passing through tough times emotionally. I'll be fine. And why are you packing your bags? Where are you going to? Not going anywhere. I'm just trying to arrange my things. Mom, stop crying. Stop crying. It's okay. You have to be courageous. You have to be strong. You have to have faith. What, what is this? No, don't tell me you want to leave just because he threatened you must leave. No, this is your home. You own this place with him. He is your husband. You cannot leave this place for them. Look, Master Jesus Christ has a sized power and authority over sin and death. And because he was in union with his Father and the Holy Spirit. And Jesus just says, Cut off from here, you can do nothing. You have to be in union with Christ for you to achieve this. It's okay, it's okay. I must talk to your husband. You cannot leave this place for them. It's okay. It's okay. You can't leave this place for them. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's alright. It's alright. It's alright, please. It's alright. It's alright. Even though I love from your heart, they will hate you. For no reason For even for those of you you sacrificed We'll leave you We 
What are you doing here? Huh? What are you still doing here? My uh, brother, I understand how you feel. But for God's sake, don't give the devil a chance. Give me a patient hearing, okay? For the same God who has been faithful to you all these years. And for the respect you have for me as your spiritual director. Please calm down. Sit down, please. I'm not in the mood to sit down. Tell me what you want to say. Where I can understand. listening. Very well then. You see, I strongly believe that your wife here is innocent. I'm not trying to exonerate or extricate her. But I know she's innocent. Excuse me. You know she's innocent? Huh? You're telling me that this, this lady here is innocent. So who stole my money? No, tell me. You want me to believe you're innocent? So who stole my money? A ghost? A ghost came into this house, opened my briefcase, took my money and hid in your bag. Is that what you want me to believe? Tell me now, I'm listening. Father, is that the, the, the rubbish she sold to you and you believed it hook, line and sinker? No, seriously, I'm not joking. In Calm down. It's not what you think. Father, for the respect I have for you and for the fact that Amanda and I have come a long way, she's been there for me through thick and thin, I will forgive her. I'll give her a second chance. But if this happens again, Father, Ayokwanambiko, don't beg me because I will take an action that will be drastic. Okwata, she will leave my house. Don't beg me. Thank you very much. I'm forgiving her. I'm assuring that Nothing of this can shall repeat itself again in this house. Thank you. Welcome, darling. I hope all is well. Your face doesn't look good. How will all be well? Of course, all is not well. How will my face look good? You're happy now. Huh? You've succeeded. You have succeeded. Clap for yourself. We did go happy. Huh? You prophesied that, that that business, that refinery deal was going to be a flop, and that's exactly what happened. All the money I invested in that deal, gone. Everything. All because of you, evil woman. You have bewitched that business. You're all, all a core, core. You're happy now, right? Evil woman, oh, oh, hope you're the You prophet of doom. Don't, don't say one word to me. Sweetheart, you have to cheer up. Seriously, you can't continue torturing yourself emotionally because you lost so much money on a business which can happen to anybody. You don't even understand what's going on. It's not so much money. It's not some money. It's all my money. All my savings. All the money I have just like that gone into this business. And I know where, I know what went wrong. All my wife. I, I have evil mind and evil heart towards this evil thoughts towards this business she kept on saying all sorts of rubbish that the business will not work it will flop or flop go now nanti baby i understand okay i understand perfectly well but i still insist that you take it easy well i have a solution 
you know I have met people, especially top politicians. I know of one who I can talk to, so he can introduce you into his own line of business. All you have to do is try investing this time around, and I can assure you that it's going to be genuine and successful. Okay, just give it a try. What, what will I invest? You don't even understand. And I'm looking at you. You don't even understand the problem. Fine, you can take me to someone who will introduce me to a new line of business. Beautiful. What will I invest? My head? Eh? Where will I get the money from? You don't even understand. Keep on guessing what they're going to invest. Baby, it is simple. All you have to do is take a bank loan. As soon as you make your profit, you pay back and still have your business. I'll give it a thought. Thank you. Good day, Sophia. How are you doing? Good day, mama. I'm good. Yeah, good day. My name is OJ. OJ Oil and Gas. Oh, OJ Oil and Gas. We're meeting Waziko. Waziko International Limited. Huh. Waziko. The great Waziko. <laughs> wow, you look, you look quite uh, young for your status. <laughs> I get to hear that every day, you know. Uh, the famous Waziko. Hey, my, you know, my problems are solved. Donya Bunko. Very rich guy. Everybody knows him. Uh, <laughs> You're right. Um, Waziko, this is my friend, OJ, CEO OJ Oilangas. He's the one I told you about to help. And uh, OJ, mm -hmm. this is Waziko. Everybody knows him. <laughs> like I said, I have spoken to him and he has promised to help. It's okay. You see, Sophia here is my very good friend. It's not possible to turn down her request where I know I can fully assist. So, uh, Mr. Oji, you don't have to worry. Okay? Thank you so much, my brother. Believe me, I need this help. Thank you. Thank you once again. God bless you. Thank you. Don't be scared. She won't come to my house to haunt you. Alright. 
Thank you. We go and rest. of kings and the Lord of lords, the lion tribe of Judah, the beginning and the end of my life, the giver of life and the maker of heaven and earth. Father, Lord, you said I should ask, it shall be given unto me, that I should seek, that I shall find, that I should knock, that the door will be opened unto me. Jehovah, you see, who is that who has the right to speak on my head when you have not spoken? Father, you said that I should ask, oh Jehovah, you see, you give unto me. Oh Lord, you said in Exodus 14, 14 that I should hold my peace and you will fight for me. You said in Psalm 35 that you will fight against all that fight against me. You will take your shell and buckler and stand up for my help. Jehovah, listen, you said in your word that a thousand shall fall, ten thousand all around me, but they shall never come near me because you will set your angels in charge over me to save me from hurting my feet against the stone. Therefore, my father, my father, who is that demon? Who is that devil who wants to speak on my head when you have not spoken? My father, my father, stand up for me and fight for me. Father, you said in your word, come on, that your word was come to pass. My father, my father, I hold you against your word, and your word will come to pass in my life. I come against every spiritual attack, every satanic attack from the dark covens, every witches and wizard around this jurisdiction, trying to bring me down, trying to bring me down, oh my father. I come against them in the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of over me on the name. With this past experience, you won't be blinded by love anymore. Make hay while the sun shines. A word is enough for the wise. Anyway, I brought this with you so you can change with. in my house, what you give me? Give, 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 give me my key.
I have seen life from every point of view. Yeah, I have seen the rich turn poor overnight. Oh yeah. Jesus Christ. You mean your husband accused you of attacking him last night? In a witch like form? And also found a, a charm in your bag. Yes, father. The devil has sworn not to rest until he destroys your family. Did you embark on, on, on the first and prayer I asked you to do? Yeah. You did? I did. I did. It's alright. You see, Jeremiah 29 verse 11 says, I know the thought I have towards you. Thought of peace and not evil. To give you a future and hope. Yes. Okay, it goes down to verse 12 and says, If you kneel down and pray and talk to me, see you. We are in this together, okay? I'll have to talk to your husband. Okay? Thank you. Don't worry. It's going to be alright. Now bow down your head and receive God's blessings. Father, I told you. I warned you. I said it. This happens again. Oh my again, there will be no consideration from me. Remember? Of which other? So why are you here? No, tell me, why are you here? You're here to beg me again. So I will take that witch back into my house. Go home. Oh, yeah. So that she will kill me. And when she kills me, you'll be there to, to, to celebrate mass for me so that I'll be buried. Oh, with each other. Father Biko, with due respect, just leave this topic. Believe me, because if you try to solicit for her again, Father, you will trigger the beast in me and you will not like it. Biko. It, it's okay, my brother. It's alright. Please, calm down. But let's not give the devil a chance. Of course not. There is no way I will give the devil a chance because Amanda is the devil and I've driven her out of my house. So how else will she have chance? How will the devil have chance to operate in my house? How? On Nagun. My sister, I understand your situation and feel your pain as well. Yes. You see, what your husband is doing, he is doing it out of ignorance. He doesn't know what he's doing. He needs our prayer. He needs your prayer and my prayer too. We need to pray for him constantly, for him to be delivered. The devil hates to see prayer break out among the children of God. We must guard our homes with constant intercession. Your husband must be expunged from, from the doldrums of, of, of spiritual uh, fatigue and blindness. He isn't now. It could be, it could be, it could be chaotic, cataclysmic, or, or catastrophic if we don't do it on time. He needs our help. Okay. You see, the Paris house is still free for you to stay as long as you want. The whole congregation is solidly behind you, okay? Father, I want to thank you for your kindness and support. Especially for accommodating me for the past few days in the parish house. Thank you very much. But as it stands now, I have taken a decision to go back to my father's house in the village. I, I want to I want to go back. But you cannot go back to the village now. You just lost your mother only two years ago. I know. I know, but I'll be fine. 
God, God Almighty is my strength. I'll be fine. You know, going back to the village will be a kind of uh, psychological, uh, emotional trauma to you. I'll be fine. Well, I thank God Almighty for the courage He has given to you in this time of need. God will be your strength, okay? I thank God Almighty for, for, for your courage, okay? Job. Now that we have inflicted him with the first plague, which is matrimonial disaster, and successfully taking our enemies, whose careless prayers has been a great obstacle, it is now time to inflict him the second plague, and then the last, which is death. He must suffer before dying for his great disobedience and challenge to rush me. Please, the great Uriabara. Have a little more mercy. Let him suffer the first and the second plague. His life could even be worse than his death. Please, but don't take the life of my only son. Don't speak like a stranger. There is no mercy with Oriaba. Whatever I've spoken must be done. Don't forget what we suffer because of him. He must die. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, 
Right now, you're the only woman in my life. You are the only woman that I love. You are the only person who can fill the vacuum in my heart. What are you saying? What vacuum? your wife because I know you are still married to her Amanda Amanda is history now I'm done with her so it's you and I forever I'll give you the details later but please don't say no Mom, why do you drive us from the house? We need a bag. Uh, uh, mommy, it's a long story, but you have nothing to worry about. Auntie Sophia is here. She'll be taking mommy's place, okay? And trust her, she'll do a very good job. So, meet Auntie Sophia. <laughs> How are you, kids? Oh, fine. Okay. Honey? <laughs> Your kids are lovely. Oh. Okay, may I know your names? My name is Sophia. Let me start from you. Tell me. Me? Yeah, you. My name is Wamaka. Oh, and you? Emmanuel. Don't worry about them. Uh, you're just meeting them for the first time, so this is uh, it's normal. Huh? After a while, you guys will get to know each other, I believe. I hope Things so. Will change. All right. Enjoy your program. Okay. Sit, sit, sit. Let me show you to your room.
Mm -hmm. eating? I want to see my mommy. Um, don't worry, kids, okay? Even if your mom is not here, trust me, I'll be there to take care of both of you. We don't hmm? need now eat your food. We don't need you, we need mommy. Excuse me. Excuse me. That was very disrespectful. I apologize. Sorry. <laughs> Listen to me, Junior. You have to get used to the fact that your mom is. She's gone, right? She did a lot of bad things to daddy, so she's not coming back. This is a worthy replacement for your mother, so get used to it. Daddy, please, we need mommy. Hey, shh. Eat. Daddy, please, mommy. One more word from you, you will see the other side of me. I came to see my kids, but but the gate man wouldn't let me. Of course he will not allow you, because it's my house, or bro your house. You hear me? And you're no longer welcome in here. Winner, no? What, what do you want to stand for? What, why do you want to see my children so you, you, you will attack them the way you attacked me, okay? He won't those kids. I told you before, I don't want to see you here again. Don't push me. Winner, no? I don't want to see you in this compound around this vicinity. Say that for, else you will push me to do something drastic. Thank you. 
Yes. Are you okay, Juma? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Uh, have, you, have you had something to eat? Yes. Uh, so, so stay right here. Huh? Stay, stay, stay. Don't worry, I'll, I'll give it to you. Right. Okay. Don't leave the room. Every right to know what is happening to you. Why you brought us here? Easy now. Take it easy. I told you before it's some little issue I'm, I'm, I'm having with uh, in my business. But Dollar Man, my, my friend, will soon be here. Once he gets here, we'll sort it out. Huh? <clears throat> I hope so. It's yes, yes, yes. Something is up. It's more than serious. Look, this is a nightmare I had many years ago. It's it's bad. And something I would not wish on any man. Believe me, a poor believer. I'm only telling you as my friend because truth be told, you're my only true friend. That's why I'm confiding in you. This is strange. This is serious. Okay, uh, let's try a pastor. Oh no. Pastors. It's not up on there. Then he limbered up with those people, man. I had a terrible experience with a pastor in the past. Mm -hmm. They're all the same, just leave them. And what about an herbalist? Herbalist? Yes. <laughs> leave, leave herbalists for now. They can't really do much. Leave them. But you must try an option here. Brother, listen, that was in the past. This is the present. All right, fine. I'll think about it. But before then, look. Wow. My children. I you know their kids. I don't want them to stay with me in the house while this thing is happening. It's big. It's not not for the children. Okay? I want them to stay with you, please. For now. Okay, please. Okay. Alright. Yeah. OJ. I think I have an idea. Huh? An idea? Yes. Oh, okay. What's the idea? Just coming from the church, I went to see Father Timothy, but I couldn't find him, and his phone is switched off. Do you know how I can reach him? No, he traveled outside the country just yesterday. Huh? Traveled abroad? It's anything really the matter, sir. Hey 
Evil stench in the air. Ibunugu has done it again. Don't you worry yourself. No evil shall attack you and your household henceforth. Great one, are you sure? Do you question Ibunugu? I beg you with my life. I shall spend the night with you to complete the task. Uh, Goji, you don't have to worry anymore. Okay, it's settled. Let's open the kids. <laughs> um, okay, Pico, don't, don't leave, huh? Not don't have fair, never fair, man. Look at me! Look at me!
Sweetheart, who is this man and what is he doing here? I demand an answer right now. Uh, why your dog? Is he? Huh? You just asked a simple question. Calm down, let me answer. He's a priest. Okay, he's purifying the house against evil spirits. Purifying the house against evil spirits? And since when has your house started breeding evil spirits? I guess I don't know you anymore. But let me make this clear to you. If this man does not leave this house this minute, then I will leave. Yeah. He hasn't got into this now. Relax. You're getting worked up over nothing. Calm down. Chokwalo, he mab with this man. Huh? Have you had any encounter with him before? What's the problem? What he's doing is for our own good. Relax. Willie. Really? Yes. At me. As you can see, I am leaving. I can't marry a man who suddenly acts funny. First, you were screaming the whole house down. And then you took us out without any reasonable explanation. Coming back here to the house is with Chief Priest being your so called purification. OJ, do I look like a fool to you? Huh? It is obvious you are diabolic. Yes, it is obvious you are diabolic or even a ritualist. Huh? Yes! But you know what? I am leaving you for good. Before my life goes down with this. Yes! You can't say such a thing now. Let me explain. Yes. I don't need your explanation. Save it to who cares to listen. Excuse me. Don't kill me. Challenge me. Rather, you must leave now. Never. I can see you are very stubborn. Sweetheart, I, I still don't understand why you're doing what, what's going on. Allow this guy to do his job. What, can he... what is going on right now is I am leaving your house for good. Yes, that is what is going on. Excuse me. I've been begging you inside. Don't do this now. You, you can't do this to me. Pico, no. Uh, do, do, don't do this now. I'm begging you. You're all I have now. Don't. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Igunu, how dare 
where you stand on my way, you shall see. the great god of old. I know you, powerful Zaguma, my own. How dare you jeopardize the mission of my servant Atama. You should stay away to avoid my wrath. Nothing comes in between me and my mission. Not even you. Then, be prepared to face my wrath. Now, you can see that your power is not much for Oriabara. This is only a warning, Zaguma. Did this to me. Hey. You know you are a failure. You are a big failure. So you couldn't even defeat an ordinary crocodile. Eh? And you kept on boasting that you, you, you are the greatest. No, 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 no. Just look at yourself. Eh? Get out of my house. I shouldn't have tried to help you. In great. Help you. Can you help yourself? Igunu, can you help yourself? I shall go, but your problem shall consume you. One door closes, another will open. When will the door open? Eh? Is it when I die? I told you what all I've been going through. Is it when I die and you bury me? Is that when the door will open? I'm telling you that don't wrap. Yes, hello. Huh? Okay, what is it? Hey! What is it? 
못가지 This is mysterious. You mean the oil refinery and all your filling stations you just recovered not too long ago from Sophia's business transaction has been raised down by fire not too long ago. Same day. How could this happen to you? How could this happen to you? Not quite long, you've just been bankrupt. I sense special forces. Yes. Your enemy is at work. Someone is walking towards your progress. OJ, who do you suspect? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I, 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 I can't lay my hands on, you know, anybody. Uh, you know, someone I'll say that. This person is the cost. I, I, I don't know, but... Hey, Dollar Man, that is not even the issue. That's not even the issue. The issue is that I borrowed a lot of money. Hey, Dollar Man. I borrowed, a, I borrowed so much money to, 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 to do this deal. And not just that, I, I invested everything I have. Believe me, so this deal, it just can't go like that. I need to get the money back. Believe me, if I can't get this money back, Dollar man, I'm, I'm finished. Honestly, everything I've ever labored for, I invested in this thing. If I can't get it back, I'm gone. It's your Naba village. Believe me. Hey, it's better I just die, Dollar man. No, 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 no. It's okay. OJ, when there is life, there is hope. Hey, there's no hope. Oh. Hey, you won't understand the pain of this thing is too. Hey! Dollar OJ, man. Don't let this get over you now. OJ. OJ! OJ! He's already getting to my chest. Your chest? OJ! OJ! No, 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 no! Hello, manager. Yes, manager, I don't understand what is going on. Huh? No, tell me, you tell me, what's going on? I tried right now to do a transfer from my account, and it's telling me that I, have, I don't have sufficient funds in the account, I don't have money. Yes, right? I said I wasn't able to make a, a small transfer from my account. Hey, God, was it there? What's going on? Listen, I don't understand what you're saying. I'm coming to my bank right now. That, that company was was a total fraud. I mean, those guys they were taking advantage of my online transactions with them. They were using it to monitor my account and they brought me down to zero level. I'm telling you, these guys cleaned out my account completely. Hi, hi. What was I thinking? Just in a few days, dollar man. Just a few days, they have been brought down to nothing. I've lost everything. Eh? Hi. Hi. Can you believe that? Me. Me. I can't have me. Me. The money I have in my account right now cannot even feed me and my family, my children, for up to a month. OJ. Calm down. Stop beating yourself. All hope is not lost. No, all hope is lost, my brother. Tola man. Tola man. Hey. Hey, Gablu Gongongongu Mazi. Tola man. Hey, Gablu Gongongongu Mazi. The whole world will laugh at me. Hey. Let them see whatever they like. It's your life, not theirs. 
Sister Chima will wonder how are you feel. Fine, Father. I have come to see you and to know how you are coping in this your present predicament. I have known you to be a good Christian with high moral standard, worthy of emulation. I want you to know that the whole church is solidly behind you. Yes. I also want you to know we are aware that what your husband is going through is not ordinary. It is my prayer that the good Lord will deliver him from this bondage. Amen, amen. Thank you, Father. Honestly, I am, I am super excited that you visited. And my, my soul is so delighted, knowing fully well that God himself and the entire congregation are solidly behind me. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. That's okay, sister. Bow down your head, let me pray for you. He has indeed felt the wrath of the Rebara. Doom and tears are my pledge. Now he must face the last plague. That tomorrow night. He must die. Sister Amanda, how are you? Really? Oh, I, I had a bad revelation about him too. You see, I want you to come to the Paris house to see me unfailingly today, please. Yes. Oh, you see, despite the fact that I came back from, I just returned from abroad today, I want you to come to the Paris house now to see me. Thank you. You see, it's never too late to answer the Lord's call. Yes. You must come to the Paris house now. It's, it's, it's a matter of life and death. Okay? Yes, brother. Very well then. Goodbye for now. Even though there's a love from your heart They will hate you For no reason For even for dark Sacrificed, we leave you with our remorse. They will accuse you. Tonight is the night that his blood becomes our sacrifice. This night he joins us. Daga of sacrifice, you shall be given to the angel of death for this task. Hello? 
Father. Yes, I have arrived the city. Not quite long, Father. Yes, you said if I arrive late, I should call you to come and pick me up. I don't really know the place, but I think it's around ShopRite or something. I don't know. I'm seeing the signboard. Yes, Father. Okay, thank you. I'll be waiting. Thank you. Of Jesus. We do not hurry them success. No, no. God forbid. Father, please, let's hurry. Okay. Please. Okay. I can beat you in the mighty name of Jesus. How dare you interfere? How dare you interfere? How dare you? What's going on? What's going on? Oh my God. What are you doing with the knife? I am the angel of death, humble servant of Oriobara, sent to torment this household. What's going on here? said you're an orphan. Yes, that was part of my assignment too. Everything about me was part of the task. We have been tormenting your household spiritually because of your disobedience to Oriobara. It started from the lady Sophia who got into your life and made your husband spiritually weak thereby giving us way to penetrate. Your sexual relationship with her was being of our mission. She turned your mind against your wife and your so-called God. She was a loyal servant of Oriobar, sent to destroy you just like me, to chatter your household and get rid of your wife, who was an obstacle to our mission. My mission started the moment you started offering me money in front of the church. We rendered your husband spiritually weak. We made him to love money more than his God. Then, Amanda, you led me into your house to fulfill my mission. Everything about me was part of the mission. Just like Atama, whom your husband taught she was a beautiful lady. I started tormenting your household. The moment you started offering me money, rendering your husband spiritually weak, 
I am responsible for your recent family problems. The plan to get you out of the way so that my mission will be done. Because you are an obstacle to us. At night, my mission will be done. He is the completion of the mission. You're a lawyer! You have no authority or power over life and death. Only mighty God does. I can see you stubborn. Get out of the way or all of you will die. The Bible said. Touch not my anointed or do my purpose no harm. The mighty Lord has decreed. You cannot harm me any of them. Lie! And you take it, the mighty name of Jesus. I come against you. I come against you now. Take it. The mighty name of Jesus. Take it. I said take it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Take it. Go back to that display you want. Now in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much, Father. Oh, we thank God Almighty who has uh, won this battle for us through Master Jesus Christ our Lord. Shall we be on our feet, please? Everywhere I've wronged you, forgive me. It's the devil and that's who we are family. But thank God we've conquered him once again. Amen, and so shall it be forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hmm. Father, I'm so ashamed of myself. I've sinned so much against God. I made a promise to him that I would never deviate from his ways. I just, just, just negudum, negudum. Just look at me. I don't even know if he, he will ever forgive me for everything I've done, for all my sins against him. Father, please help me pray to God for my forgiveness. See, my brother, our God is a merciful God. No matter how terrible your sins are, or how many times you've sinned against Him, once you have a repentant heart, He's ever willing to forgive you. And He is going to forgive you. Mm -hmm. It's just that sometimes, as human beings, we are defiant and obstinate. Once you humble yourself before God, just that you erred in your promises. 
thereby giving the devil a chance to manipulate you, rendering you spiritually weak. But henceforth, if you stay close to God, making your altar evil, no weapon fashioned against you or your family by the devil shall prosper again in Jesus' name. Amen. We should cultivate hands for the, the, the habit of living for something rather than dying for nothing. Live for Christ. Eat Christ. Discuss Christ. Sleep Christ. Drink Christ. I'll take a cue from uh, Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7. God says, and the peace which passeth all understanding shall be with you, be with your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Amen. Bow down your heads and receive God's blessing. Mighty Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah.